In this video, I'll be discussing about the history of heaven and hell. The earliest description of the underworld is in the Sumerian mythology around 2700 BC. The story involves a goddess called Enanna who descends into the underworld and undergoes a symbolic transformation. She leaves the great above for the great below to face her sister, Arishkagel, the ruling goddess of the underworld. As Inanna descends, she passes through the seven gates of invisibility. Only by stripping away her life and fertility in the form of her sparkling clothes and jewels, up until she arrives naked before Ereshkiga. She becomes a corpse, however, the trickster god Enki finds a way for her to return to Earth if she can find a substitute soul. Discovering that her lover, Damuzi, has not mourned for her, Inanna banishes him to the underworld in her place. The pyramid texts are long columns of hylographs inscribed on the walls of the burial chambers. They describe how the first ruler of the underworld was Anubis, who was depicted as a man with the head of a jackal. Anubis oversaw the judgment of the dead and protected them in the afterlife. Osiris, who was god of vegetation, took over the role as judge of the dead. To reach the underworld, he died and was embalmed by Anubis. This mummification symbolized the long-standing belief of the afterlife. The ancient Greek underworld was called after its ruler, the god Hades, which means unseen. The Romans, however, called him Pluto, which meant the rich one. The Greek heroes went to the light and happy place in the underworld, known as Elysian Peak. The deepest part of Hades was called Tarataras, the prison of the titans and those condemned to eternal punishment. Then after a few centuries of Chinese whispers, we have the Jewish, Christian, Islamic and Buddhist versions of heaven and hell, where they have con men feeding off the insecurity and desperation of their victims. I'm sorry if it sounds a bit blunt, but it wraps up what organizations like the Vatican have been doing for centuries. But if you're telling me all that money raised by any place of worship in any religion are going to charities like MSF, Click Sergeant or Cancer Research, then take another look.